Britain's considering pulling the plug on whistleblowers, a bill circulating through Parliament there, which, if it comes into force, might discourage people from speaking out against serious violations and corporate wrongdoing. RT Sarah Firth looks at the possible risks, though, for those who want to do the right thing. The war on whistleblowing. It's a war of attrition. You've got one person who has nothing against people that have a lot of wealth, a lot of power behind them. I see this as a battle against corruption uh, and uh, lies and secrecy. This video named Collateral Murder was just one of many WikiLeaks revelations exposing war crimes, revolutionizing whistleblowing and tearing down the divides between governments and ordinary people. And the governments were furious. Exposing wrongdoing can prove risky business, as Wendy Addison found out. Back in 2000, whilst working as a treasurer for South African company Lejeunet, she discovered the CEOs were stealing money from shareholders and sending it to offshore accounts. And she blew the whistle. It was at that point that my whole life fell apart. I lost my career. It was, it was literally over. I started getting death threats anonymously. There were occasions where I was almost inclined to consider exiting society completely um, and this is a very common thing for, for whistleblowers and we're talking about suicide. Despite risking everything, Wendy was embroiled in a lengthy legal wrangling and it would be more than a decade before those who committed the crime went to jail. Modern whistleblowing techniques have been giving people more power to take on big corporations and even governments. But now with the proposed changes to the law potentially threatening the protections offered at a time when the culture surrounding whistleblowing has been making big leaps forward, the law could be set to take a big step back. The problems are being caused by this, the Enterprise and Regulatory Reform Bill, which is currently making its way through Parliament, and one small discreet line buried away in the text referring to a public interest test. We were really worried that putting in a public interest test into the legislation will have a chilling effect on the ability of workers to speak up. A member of the International Whistleblowing Research Network and an employment lawyer, David Lewis tells us the proposed test has dropped a bomb on whistleblowing provisions. The great virtue of the existing provisions is there's no public interest test. It was a very simple test. As long as you um, had an honest motive, you could be uh, assured in advance that you would be protected. Now individuals will, all of those claiming to use the provisions, uh, will have to satisfy a public interest test and it will make it very difficult for people to advise them. The government argues that the changes are aimed at closing a loophole that's meant that employees with personal grievances over employment contracts have been able to use the whistleblowing provisions. But for some, this will be seen as just the latest measure, making it harder to out the truth. What we're seeing, of course, is this trend, uh, which is, uh, you mentioned, which is a very serious one, uh, a, a crackdown in whistleblowing. Those who've blown the whistle have, to differing degrees, had their lives changed, their reputations threatened or ruined, their freedoms removed. But in the process, they've revealed secrets that the rich and the powerful never wanted us to know. I was being told I was doing the wrong thing. Um, and yet it felt so right for me, and I knew that I was doing the right thing. Their battle highlights the importance of protecting whistleblowers and the public's right to know, something they all say was well worth fighting for. Sarah Firth, RT, London.